Hi, this is John, and we're going to be doing 30 and 31. Yes, YouTube Pagan Challenge 30 and 31. Um, together, because I don't really connect with llamas. Um, really at all. Um, if you remember way back to the in bulk video, I also don't really connect with in bulk at all, and I'm not really sure as to why. Like, I've looked up what they meant, like, what they represent, and I just, I just don't connect with it. I connect with, like, the Maybon, not Maybon, sorry, Beltane and, um, Samhain, uh, Axis of the Wheel of the Year. The, uh, in bulk and Lamas one, not really, not at all. And that's pretty much it. I like I've done research into it. I know it's like the first harvest, which seems early because if you remember back to summer solstice video, I was saying in New England, like that's when summer s start starts. It's not like midsummer for us. That seems to be when it starts. So it's just interesting that like the wheel of the year, as I understand it, was is like of Celtic origin. But then when you go to different parts of the world. Like, even just, like, Southern Hemisphere, everything's flipped. But when you go to, like, different parts of North America, it's just... The climates are very different as you go around. So, yeah, first harvest. I'd put that, like, more at the actual fall equinox. That's how I would think about it. Then again, I'm not a grain harvester, so... Um, and then the next one is... How important are your altar tools? Um, to me, they're pretty important because I like physical representations that are metaphors. That helps me get in the headspace of it. I know there's people who say you can do it without any. Um, I'm kind of like, good for you. That doesn't work for me. I've tried and I like having wands and the athame and candles. It just gets me in the right headspace for it. So it's important to me just because it gets me in the right um, mood. So, props, as a shamanic teacher I follow has called it, it, it does really help to get you in the headspace, get you thinking right about what's going on. So, I do find altar tools very important.